Hello everyone! Today we're gonna talk about Japan! As you probably guessed by the title. I miss Japan. I miss Japan so much. And so I was thinking about all the ways Japan has changed. If you don't know me, hi, I'm Sonia. I'm Italian, but I lived in Japan for two and a half years and I keep visiting Japan like three months a year because I deeply love that country. Let's get to it. The five ways Japan changed me. Thing number one, this is kind of cute, kind of weird, gestures. Given that I am Italian, I technically have a lot of uh, meaningful gestures that I use in my everyday life, like this, like this, like this, you know, all these things. But I realized that I started using some Japanese gestures for certain specific things. For example, bowing. I do that a lot still. Even though I have been in Italy for a year now, I'm still bowing at people. I'm like, oh, thank you, thank you. Brian, he can vouch for that. That's true, me too. The second gesture, this is weird, in Japan to say no, they don't do this, they do this. I know, I don't know why. Now, to say no, I do this, like, ah, oh, no. And I was thinking about it the other day, like, why? Because we have this. Maybe it's because in Italy, when we say no, we rarely do this. We don't really say no doing this. Like, no, 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 no. Like, that's a bit too much. But in Japan, on the other hand, they always say no. They actually don't say no. But uh, they do this to say no. So maybe since they use it way more often than we use this, now I'm like, <laughs> no. But in Italy, if you do this, it means like something stinks. Or if you do this, it's like, you're crazy. Stink, you're crazy. No, in Japan. Hmm. Another gesture that I've been using a lot. Oh my God, this is kind of ugly. I don't know why I use it. You know when you have two people and you have to pass in between and you're like, excuse me. There is no gesture in Italian for that. But in Japan, they kind of like do this when they have to pass in between people, things that like do this. And I do that. Like, Really? Again, I think it's because we have no Italian replacement for that. That's why I use that. And the last thing that I keep doing is when I am trying to be polite and I have to pass something to someone, like hand a piece of paper or something. In Italy, you can just simply do this and it can be even like your teacher, just one hand and it's fine. But in Japan, you always do it with two hands like this. And I feel like it's really more polite. So whenever I have to hand something, like a piece of paper or sheet to someone, I like to do this in a polite way. Let's move on to thing number two. Thing number two, you can definitely see it on my skin. I'm way wider now. I used to be a very tan Italian summer girl. Not summer in the sense that I've never liked going to the beach, but my skin is naturally kind of dark and I used to go to the beach every summer so even with five days I get pretty tan and dark but ever since I moved to Japan first of all beauty standards are different and they like pale skin but that's not why I stopped tanning it's because there is a lot of information about the sun damage and how bad sun is for your skin way more information than in Italy. Japanese women use sunscreen a lot to prevent skin cancer and all these things and I feel like that really influenced me. Like seeing all the Japanese women shy away from the sun when waiting at the traffic light in Japan while I was like a, like a lizard. Like, mm -hmm, yeah. That made me realize that maybe that was not so healthy and so I started using sunscreen every day. Even in winter, every day. Brian can vouch for that. That's true. I miss my tan look sometimes, you know, like the summer queen, yay! Yeah, he totally misses that, but I want to do the right thing for my skin. Moving on to the third thing, I, I feel way more self-conscious when I wear a revealing shirt, like something with a cleavage. Before going to Japan, I was always wearing like something with a cleavage because in Italy, that's not a big deal. A lot of people do that. And maybe, you know, wearing a miniskirt will attract more attention because like, oh, it's 
it's a miniskirt, legs. In Japan, it's literally the opposite. So I would go with like jeans and maybe a revealing shirt and people would look at me and so I'm like, I don't know. Now I feel like I still wear revealing shirts because sometimes I like them, but maybe less often and less revealing. <laughs> yeah, as you can tell, like, next. Okay, this is definitely a little bit more serious and a little bit deeper. Now I get more frustrated, irritated when people don't follow rules. Why? I'm from Rome. Rome is sometimes really dysfunctional. Mm, people do what they want, they don't follow rules, you have to. It's like a jungle a bit, you know? And I used to think that that was normal because it's such a big city, so many people. I would make excuses for Rome because I thought it would be impossible for a big city to be super tidy and people to follow rules. Well, no. After living in Tokyo, for more than two years, I can totally tell you, and Tokyo is way bigger than Rome, it's possible. People can live together as a society and follow rules and respect the others and they can respect public places. They shouldn't litter. They should not cut in lines. They like, <sighs> it's possible, really. I've always been a little Japanese, like I always follow rules. That's just my personality. But now I get more frustrated when I see that things don't work in Rome because I cannot find good excuses anymore. Now, for my last point... Sorry. Now, for the last point... Uh, it's interesting. PDA. Kissing and hugging in public. Guys, I'm Italian. And so I used to kiss my boyfriend when walking on the street or maybe hug him on the bus or, you know, PDA is not crazy weird in Italian. I'm not saying that I would like make out with my boyfriend on a bus, but a little PDA, that, that's usually okay and people don't get too offended. In Japan, they <laughs> barely hold hands, let alone kissing and hugging, it's like a lot. And so I remember at first, I didn't even notice, but then I noticed that I have noticed because in the rare occasions where you see someone kissing in Japan, it's like, oh my God, oh my God, look at them, look at them, they must be drunk. They usually are drunk. I definitely stopped kissing and hugging too much. Even now that I'm in Italy, I'm like, okay, let's just hold hands, little hug, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe and give it a thumbs up and ask me questions if you want to because I'm totally going back to Japan because I spent three months a year in Japan and that's my goal for the rest of my life unless it will become impossible when I have kids. We'll see. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.